let's split the earth in half and see what it would do more specifically let's split the two hemispheres in half and see what they would do that's a great question but using pavel shevichek's space sim we can now figure this out or at least what it might look like and what would it look like of course we're all asking let's see i'm gonna make this first play pretty quick here just so we can see it That was really cool. That was actually only about half of the simulation, but let's see that again, but slower. We can see it just rips apart and then it takes a second for the planet to kind of like realize, oh, we just lost half our planet. And then obviously they collide back together. And it's really interesting because it makes this cool looking thing in the middle and and the sides it like splashes out well that's kind of boring why because it's heavily contingent on the speed that these hemispheres are moving away from each other or halves i should say but i can make these halves move faster away from each other and i have and this is what it looks like So pretty cool they don't connect and they form this weird looking thing and kind of wobble but i think the best option is to find a speed somewhere in the middle that's not too fast but not too slow like the goldilocks zone which our earth is in i think i've found this goldilocks zone because this is really interesting let's watch the entire thing Yeah, so I don't even have to speak a word. It speaks for itself why I think this is the best speed. It like it forms this little core like are that's our core. That's really weird and then it collides and then they both collide into each other and make this huge splash all around. It's just very beautiful. And I think for fun, we can just end with the most boring one being like a super slow split, which looks like this really nothing interesting at all but what do you think